WCCO's Next Weather sets out to be the first to alert you to changing weather in advance so that you can plan your life. As part of that promise, we're also exploring changes in our backyard with Next Weather Investigates. Tonight, we take a closer look at road paving materials and the Minnesota engineers trying to pave a better path for the planet. Here's Aaron Hassanzada with the green pavement test happening right now in Monticello. This stretch of road just next to I-94 is a test lab of sorts. And the experiment today, finding a durable road paving material with a lower carbon footprint. It's replacing the cement. And the cement, they say, causes up to 8% of our CO2 emissions worldwide. It's kind of like figuring out the perfect baking recipe. Essentially, they're laying down 35 different types of materials. Each are supposed to lower the carbon footprint of the paving process. So what makes them green materials? Uh, some of them actually capture the carbon over time. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Others, like the 3M product out here, use stuff in their mix that would have gone to the landfill. So this is the byproduct of roofing granules. Before any material hits the road, engineers actually put in these sensors. Next, they'll cover those sensors with the concrete mixture, and it just helps them keep an eye on how the roads are holding up. We're also doing a lot of laboratory testing. This stuff has to work. That's the other bottom right. line. Yeah, it has to work. But if you have to rip it up every five years instead of every 50, it doesn't do you very much good. Right. And there's a balancing act of being sustainable. We wondered, will it cost more green to go green? They're expensive now, but if we got into larger production, they'd be a lot cheaper. It's about long-term costs. It's about cost to our environment, too. So we have to consider all those. While it'll take a good year to get good data from this test, you could see this stuff on a road near you soon. We're going to use it here and there, I'm sure. And we've already talked to some cities and counties. Hennepin County was at our big open house last week, and they're looking at it. In Monticello. We're excited, but this is the beginning. Aaron Hassan. WCCO 4 News. We saw researchers and product developers from around the country at the Minroad test site. Engineers say materials like this are used around the country, but they're not widespread. However, other states in the region are definitely looking to Minnesota for ideas.